Hi friends, welcome to Hoppa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 33 in Python playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about while loop in Python. And also we are going to discuss about break statement and continue statement. So let's continue. In Python, we basically have only two types of loop commands. One is while loop, another one is for loop. In this video, we are going to focus about only while loop. In our upcoming video, we are going to discuss about for loop as well. So let's try to understand while loop. With while loop, we can execute set of statements as long as the condition is true. That means if you see this example, this is condition basically. So as long as this condition is true, all these set of conditions we can execute using this while loop. So if you see this particular example, here we created a variable called i and we used a condition where i less than 6. If i is less than 6, then for that all condition, the iteration is going to be continue. So for example, if I don't increment this i value inside the loop, then always i is going to be 1 and the condition is going to be always true. The loop is going to be like a infinity loop. It will not end. So that's the reason we need to make sure to increment your value as such at some point your loop will break. That means the, the condition will get false and your execution will come out of the loop. So let me practically show you this while loop. Let me go to Visual Studio code here. So let's assume I have a variable called y, i, sorry, in this I have a value called 1. Now, while i less than 6, that means if i value is less than 6, then inside the loop I want to declare some statements. Maybe I want to simply print value i. Okay, let me save these changes. Now, inside the same loop, I want to increment this value of i as well. If I don't increment, it is going to be infinite loop. Why? Because the condition is not going to be false anytime. So we need to make sure the condition is going to be false at some point of time so that the execution will come out of the loop. So at the and outside of the while loop, I am writing one print statement here uh, saying like uh, while loop execution completed. Okay. So let me save these changes now. Now let me run this code. So as you might have expected, what will happen? It is going to print value 1 to 6. Why? Because loop started here. I value is 1. When it is starting, it will print 1. Then I value will become 2. Then for the second iteration, 2 less than 6, it is going to be true. So print true, print 2. Then I is going to be increment to 3 now. 3 is less than 6. Again condition true. So print 3. Then I value is going to become 4 now. So like this, all the iterations will continue until this condition is going to become false. So that is what happened. That's why we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 as output. Okay. So let's go to our presentation. So now what is break statement? Let's assume for some reason inside the loop, you want to use a break statement to break the loop execution completely. So let me take this example to practically show you this. So here there is a variable called i which is assigned value 1. Now the same condition i less than 6. Now what will happen is they are printing this i inside the while loop and then they are incrementing the i value also. But in middle they use this if block they are checking when the i value is equals to equals to 3 then break the loop. That means what will happen if this code executes it is going to print 1 then if, if is false it will go here increment then it is going to print 2. Then if is false, again it will go increment 3. Then when it will print 3, then here if is going to be three, true here, 3 equals to 3. So it is going to be true. The moment it becomes true, it will go inside if it will execute this, it, it will hit this break statement. The moment execution hits this break statement, what will happen? Your entire execution is going to come out of this while loop. So even though your condition is not become false, still since you hit the break statement, your execution will come out. It will break the entire loop execution. Let me go and practically show you this. So here with the same example here, what I will do if i equals to equals to 3, at that case I want to break the loop. Okay. So I use the break statement. Now if I execute the same code, observe what will happen. It will only print 1, 2, 3. What about 4, 5? Why? Because when the value become 3, this condition become true and we use the break statement to come out of the loop. So that's the reason execution came out of the loop and outside the loop we have this print statement so it printed that okay 
so this is what called break statement break statement will help you to break the loop execution completely now what is this continuous statement so there is a slight difference between break statement and continuous statement continuous statement is kind of like it will stop executing the current iteration only it will not completely break all the iterations it will not completely break entire loop it will only stop the that particular iteration alone so if it is not making sense if you see this example here i value we assign 0 then same condition i less than 6 i am incrementing i value immediately here so it will become i will become 1 here then if condition is going to become false so it will come print 1 then it will go i value will become 2 it will come here print 2 then it will go i value become 3 and here 3 equals to 3 so this will become true and here we are using continue right what will happen that particular iteration will stop here so that means uh, the the iteration has to come here to complete that right it will not come here why because it execution came to continue statement so it will stop the execution of that current ex current iteration it will go back here i will become 4 and then print 4 so that means i equals to 3 will not print at any point of time why because that iteration is stopped because of this continuous statement let me practically show you this so let me go to visual studio code so let's assume i value is 0 at the starting then i is greater than 6 now here let's assume we are incrementing i value here by 1 let me save this now once i increment and after that what i am doing i am trying to check the value inside the i so what is the value whether it is 3 or not if it is 3 then what I am going to do, uh, maybe instead of using this break, this time let's I want to use like continue. So continue is a statement which I want to use. Okay. Now below here, I want to print that. Uh, so all this entire code, whatever you are seeing, this entire code is inside the while block only. So now what will happen? As I said, when I value become three, it is going to hit this continue statement and execution will come out of that particular iteration so i3 will not get print here so let me run this code practically and show you this control s now let me clear screen here and now let me execute this python file now if you see one printed two printed three it didn't print why because the moment it came here it 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 it, 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 it skipped that particular execution that means only that particular iteration and then for i value 4 so it is not going to hit continue so it printed i value 5 i value 6 so this is how it will work so as i said uh, in loops at some point of time we need to make sure you are ending our loop right as i said here before for example here let's assume inside the loop uh, here i simply print i and i am not incrementing anything then what will happen this condition is going to be always true so it is going to be infinite loop the execution will not come here at all so uh, now if i run this see here if i run this see it is going to be continuous loop if you see it is printing zero continuously right because loop is not going to end so this is called infinite loop so we need to make sure at some point your condition become false and your execution will come out of that particular loop okay so you, whenever you struck like this uh, you can stop execution of your uh, console or uh, your debug session okay and then you can re-execute your entire code once again if you want okay so yeah that's it in this video let me go to ppt so i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i do this thank you so much